Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got one last flip through video for you guys for today, and then I think that will be it for the day. Um, as far as flip throughs are concerned, I would like to film one more video, maybe like a face to face or a planner video. We'll see. But these are the sticker activity books from Dollar Tree. They are, I guess, Papercraft brand. I'm seeing right there. And I bought, they had a couple of others, but I bought three different ones. There's Ocean Creatures, In the Wild, and then Animal Friends. Um, I guess we'll just start with this one. I'm going to lump them all in one video because they're relatively thin. Um, for a dollar, you can't really expect to get a whole lot. But they're actually really good for the price. So let's just jump into it. Oops, I skipped the beginning. So the front is uh, just a basic page, no stickers or anything. And then you jump in to this. Now, my daughter worked on some of these in the car, so you can't tell from this page, but it'll show the layout a little bit better in other ones. But it's cute because it focuses on one um, section or one type of whatever animal they are covering in the book. So this one's dogs and puppies, and then it has little facts on a few of them and just some really cute pictures. And then you jump over here, and I'm surprised she didn't do this page because she is a horse fanatic. Her stepmom, uh, her family has like a horse ranch, I guess, and so they're all kind of into that. So I'm sure this will be one of her favorite pages once she gets to it. But she hasn't done that yet. But as you can see, it has a wide uh, space, a blank space in the outline of the sticker that would go there. And, uh,. As we come into the stickers, which are in the center of the book, you can see, so you would just follow the outline of that white space in the page and you could place the sticker. I will say the only real complaint I have, and I don't think you see it quite as much with this one, but a little bit where it's tearing out here. So the stickers are sometimes difficult to get out and a, a couple of them in the other books have actually torn because it was hard for her to get, you know, children especially aren't quite as de dexterous. Is that the right word? Um, as far as, you know, with their fingers and stuff. So it's harder for them to get underneath and, like, if that were to tear, slip their nail in between the thin paper and the sticker to get it out without tearing it. So this is actually part of that complete spread. And you could, if you wanted, take out the stickers from the middle. Um, she was doing this in the car, which is why I didn't do that initially. Rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. Lizards, snakes, and turtles. This is probably my favorite page. And then there's a spot in the back. They have extra stickers for each um, category. And you can just put your favorite ones in these frames. So that was Animal Friends. Next will be In the Wild. They each have over 70 stickers. I don't think I specified that earlier. So again, the front page just uh, showing you what kind of animals are in there. This one starts with the Rainforest goes into wild Africa, which side note, these are like all of my favorite types of animals. I have always wanted to go on an African safari ever since we had the CD-ROM for one of the computers, like the one of the very first computers we ever got. I think I was in like fourth grade and there was an African safari uh, photography CD-ROM thing and I just, I loved it. I wonder if I could find it again. That one and then like the Oregon Trail, of course. They actually had an Amazon Trail too, which was pretty neat. So, again, she hasn't done a whole lot in this one. A couple of stickers. There's a lemur, I think, and then... What is that? That's not an anteater. It's something else. Capybara? I don't know. It's something. That's one thing. They do have lots of little neat facts and things, but I wish they kind of labeled individually some of these. Primates is next. I did that monkey just because I wanted to test it out. And she hasn't done that back page. So there's that. And finally... Ocean Creatures, which is my favorite one of all the ones that I got. With the exception maybe of that one page, the African Safari Animals. Coral Reefs, just very vivid colors too. You would almost expect it to be kind of muted because it's, you know, quote unquote cheap from the dollar store. But they're actually really nice, bright colors. Same with the stickers. Uh, this is one you can tell where they, uh, they were tearing. For whatever reason, the paper's too thin, or maybe it was too hot when it got transported and they were just extra sticky or something. But 
overall for a dollar, I think they're pretty good, especially for like car trips, which is what I got them for. Anna, she was sick. She had the flu on top of, you know, already her compromised immune system. So we just, we stayed in the house all weekend while she was here. So we did a few of those together. So yeah, those are my Dollar Tree sticker activity books from, they were purchased within the last week. And I think they hold on to stock like this, you know, for a relatively decent amount of time. So you could probably find them at your Dollar Tree or something similar. So three bucks, you know, these could probably last an hour a piece if you wanted them to. And you could kind of add on to them, especially if you're like a homeschool mom, maybe look up uh, articles, you know, children age, you know, appropriately aged articles. I know what I'm trying to say. I think you get what I'm trying to say, too, about like maybe a sea turtle if you wanted to do that or just pick some key animals from here and include it in like a science lesson or even reading so yeah, there's that. Overall, I I recommend them. Just be aware that you get what you pay for. So they're fairly good quality, but again, the stickers, maybe it was just a fluke with mine. I'm not sure, but some of the stickers tend to tear, so you might need to help younger children um, pull those off if you don't want them to rip. So thank you for watching this flip through. I promise this is the last flip through video for the day. Um, hopefully I will see you guys at least one more time with a face-to-face -face or planner or similar video later on in the day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.